Human skin can't change your gross nature! Uh, yeah, uh, sure. We are so low compared to you, a glorious admiral of the court. And the last monkey is still fresh in his grave. And here you are, another monkey sidekick. Cut your bullshit! Get your mother to beg for mercy, and maybe I'll spare your foolish life! <sighs> Truth is, the thing you seek is right here in the hollow. Flee now if you're too scared to come in. Scared my hoof! I'll destroy this rotten hole right now! The swift blade speaks the loudest!
to carry out his bidding. Yeah. <laughs> 
the sign teller could never have known that. I've hidden upon his garb as a pattern. Our sire gave his life to pave the way for the journey. And not a day passes that we do not yearn to avenge him. Yet every day, we find ourselves adrift without a home to call our own. I'll kill you to unbind our destinies. Sire's head was hung when he defied the Celestial Court. We dreaded the Jade Emperor's wrath and pleaded with Master Yuan to help us abscond from our waters. But he warned us we might hide for a time, but not forever. In the end, someone will come to claim our lives. He had more to say. Sires to sons, we are destined to die for the righteous cause. I trust him, yet I won't obey. May your path not once more be a mere thread in their grand design. Brothers have.
have been clean. If not now, when will you reunite? <sighs> Destiny repeats itself, always. <laughs> Why not cast the die once more? on earth. It was one merry night, and now she wants to take my life. You are following me like a shadow. Can't you do anything without me? Nitwit! Spare me this burden! Damn it! Did you see it?
Monkey, no matter how many times you reincarnate, you're still blind to the ways of this world. Now, in your folly, you've hindered the dealings of the court. But above that, you've given a girl who knows no limits of false hope. <laughs> I shall transform her into a mighty golden pill and uh, keep it safe for you. Think about her, won't you? Should you feel like stirring trouble in your next life? I stepped into the sack for nothing but your sake. I'd appreciate it to thank you, but you gave me torn arms. Now, in compensation. 
vexation. I'll claim yours! any soul has trodden these hidden bounds. Pale, young master. Your face is gaunt, complexion sallow. Both remind me of the venom's touch, as the worm also besets you. An oddity thrives here, the armor worm. Consuming its eggs grants great power. Yet once the larvae hatch, they devour your insides, leaving an undying husk. My fellow disciples, hungry for power, consumed those eggs. And now, most are beyond remedy. Young master, if you will, end their suffering in my stead. They were my fellows. I can't. Their lifeless bodies might still bear eggs unhatched. Bring those eggs to me, and perhaps I can find a cure. Splendid. This is it. 
violent evil it is. Hence, I must bring it back for thorough study. Young master, in our brief acquaintance, you were kind enough to do me a favor. Why not extend your kindness by leaving your head with me? That would please my master greatly. <laughs> Shall feast to power my metamorphosis ascension. These impudent mortals have overreached themselves. Their demise was of their own creation. But you, you are special. What poison them only strengthens you. Keep it close and wield it wisely. You'll see its potential. Go, release him. Being trapped there is a torment worse than death. I've watched him grow up. I cannot bring myself to do it.
Oh.
all these years apart. And they've marred you like this. I journeyed from Mount Lee to delve into the mysteries of this valley. I didn't mean to hold this back from you. It was because I had to. I stayed my hand for my ties to his mother. That's why I called upon you. But how did you get this? I thought it was with the Hundred-Eyed Guai. This may well be the design of destiny itself. I shall help you and restore its power. Consider this as my token of gratitude.